Uh, please take out your PDF. Ula lalne? PDF to Ula isa. Okay, in the last class we were talking about the chapter called is mineral nutrition and since we have already given the PDF to you all, so we were discussing it just from the PDF and we have completed almost more than half of the chapter. I think today we are going to start from page number 57 of the PDF, please take it out. Page number 57 of the PDF. Okay, prior to this, I mean last class of key explain Gori, so we have talked about uh, what we understand uh, of uh, the introduction of this chapter, we have talked about the presence of different types of minerals inside the plant body. If you are talking about the different types of plants that are present inside the, uh, different types of minerals that are present inside the plant, how will, will we know that there are so many types of minerals? We will go for something called as ash analysis. Ash analysis, we can see the presence of different, different minerals in the plant body. If you are talking about minerals, around 50 to 60 types of minerals are present. Out of them, only 17 of them are considered to be essential. On the basis of which, uh, I mean, there are certain criteria because of which certain elements are considered as essential and what is the criteria for essentiality we have discussed in our last class right NCRT Jungita criteria dia se he kitab halke sabha together with that PDF for Jungita dia se please go through that also right so hey rules kita follow kori lehe eta element o kami ki buli kobo paru essential again talking about these 17 essential elements they have been broadly divided into two groups that is macro and micro depending on what depending on the concentration that is present inside the plant body right jeti basic as a obviously it's called as macro or jeti comp amount of acid that is called as micro what is the most frequently asked question from this chapter is identify the macronutrients and identify the micronutrients so once you remember the macronutrients it's easy for us to remember the micronutrients also Together with that, we have discussed something called as mobile and immobile elements and something called as beneficial elements also. So we have to remember the type of mobile elements, the names of the immobile elements and the beneficial elements. Beneficial elements are generally the question has been asked about sodium, right? So sodium is something to very commonly asked. Talking about mobile and immobile, what we remember? Jab mobile or immobile, what is the basic difference? Certain types of elements could be translocated from the point of origin to the different parts of the plant body and that is what is called as mobile, right? For example, phosphorus, hog, nitrogen, hog, potassium, hog, ki hoy, they could be and transported and these are called as mobile and there are certain elements which generally are associated with forming the basis of a cell and they cannot be transported from the point of origin that is called as immobile. Immobile will equal basically we remember sulfur and calcium right he get a whole immobile together with mobile and immobile what we have discussed is we have talked about their deficiency symptoms also mobile element or deficiency symptoms hole adult plant or kundu part or first noticeable hobo or immobile element or jedi deficiency symptom hoy tetale kundu part or noticeable hobo if you are talking about the mobile the first deficiency symptom will always occur where in the older parts of the plant body and if you are talking about immobile tetale ki hobo younger plant so looking at the plant itself no deficiency symptom to ami sokure sai pelayo gom pabo paru we can have some out idea some uh, the kuntu bostur deficiency is either it's a mobile or it's a immobile right uh, apart from that we have talked about something called as toxicity also toxicity ami ki koisilu je generally it is associated with the micronutrients because since their concentration is less inside the plant body that ke okoman besi hoy gole a slight increase in the amount with act as a toxic nature or character for the plant right so toxicity loke ami manganese toxicity kotha porisilu next is uh, this was a discussion about the mineral nutrients uh, apart from that we have talked about nitrogen metabolism nitrogen cycle nitrogen fixation etc etc biological nitrogen fixation physical nitrogen fixation symbiotic asymbiotic right so have like chart form of dt so all you can do is just by heart 
right? You have to understand the process and you have to buy hard questions. Can you can he say? They identify the symbiotic nitrogen fixing organism or identify the asymbiotic or free living nitrogen fixing organism. So, can you already discussed for you. So, this is the part that you will have to buy hard. Next is since we talk about leguminous plants and symbiotic relationship, no? Uh, rhizobium and leguminous plants, we have talked about how does the rhizobium enter inside the plant body, right? Roots or thuria can ke humai. Up till which cell does the bacteria invade? It is only up till the cortex, right? What will happen to the cortex? The bacteria first, so it will stop dividing. Infection threader form no kore. Tarpusat ki form kore bacteroid, they would be called as bacteroid and then we have talked about a host membrane, peribacteroid membrane and a pinkish color pigment that is called as leg hemoglobin. Leg hemoglobin no kam ki asile, je it acts as an oxygen scavenger. Why is it important? Because oxygen, in presence of oxygen, the important enzyme that is present inside this microorganism, what are we talking about is the enzyme called as nitrogenase, no? Nitrogenase enzyme to oxygen or uh, contact or tahile. So, it is very important that it should be prevented and who acts as a, a scavenger it is always a leg hemoglobin. Leg hemoglobin of question kiya hai what is the color pinkish, second what is the function oxygen scavenger, third who secretes it but who synthesizes it it is the host cell and who is the host obviously the cortical cells right and then uh, after this what happens? Uh, we have talked about nodule formation. Nodule formation kune kore, cortex e kore. What exactly we understand by the word nodule formation is the differentiation or de-differentiation of the cortex, right? Cortex, uh, cortex ba cortical cell is a single cell. He de-differentiate kori palai, bohut bilak cells form kore and that collection of cells would be called as a nodule. A protective nodule ba protective cell or hitor ki thakki bo, he bacteroid bilak kumai thakki bo and as a result nitrogen fixation will occur inside the cell. Right? This is something that we have studied and apart from the, this nodule formation of cardio, we have talked about the role of certain hormones also, oxygen and cytokinin. No? Oxygen kune synthesize kore, cytokinin kune diya, as a result ki hoi nodule formation hoi. Uh, I think this was the content we have studied in the last class, right? To aji ki kori, another part that is important in this chapter or the question that is asked is about the deficiencies, right? So, you have the micronutrients and macronutrients we have to talk about. So, certain types of nutrients, they have deficiency, they will lead to the cause of certain types of disease in the plant, right? So, each and every nutrient that we have written, right, almost 17 of them, deficiency symptoms, disease cause kore, again, this part of the PDF, Bohut basic complex no hai, inner meaning but deeper meaning you don't have to read. What you have to do is you have to buy heart. Etu part to buy heart e kori uh, Before starting the different types of disease, uh, disease bali kole, there are two words that will come, we'll uh, learn about it frequently. One something called as chlorosis and the other called as necrosis. Certain types of um, deficiency will cause a disease called as chlorosis and kisumano deficiency ki cause kore necrosis. And then what is chlorosis, what is necrosis? Chlorosis as the name suggests, no, it's the lacking of the chlorophyll. So, chlorophyll contains it, it's a it is like it, the color of the plant body or the color of that organ will obviously change. That is what is called as chlorosis, deficiency of chlorophyll. Another word that is called as necrosis, what is necrosis? The development of dead spots or dead brown spots is called as necrosis. Kete vasa ke dekhi sa, kisman plants or leaves bila got ki hoi se round round kisman brown brown spots as a very commonly seen in case of a citrus plant. Nemo goso to praya dekha pao. Right. So, that brown spots, that dead spot is called as necrosis and the uh, what um, lightening of green color, chlorophyll contains it, but green color to obviously light hoi zabo aur hetu kami kibuli gom chlorosis. So, chlorosis, necrosis, hune cause kore hegita pohi bo leibo. Ako question to kene ke ahi po pare, maybe if together with our word chlorosis, duta type of questions ahi po pare. First, who is responsible or the deficiency of dash? Uh, micronutrient or macronutrient causes chlorosis. So, hey, name of the micronutrient or name of the mineral nutrient jani boleiwa. Second, the question could be uh, if chlorosis occurs in the older part of the plant body, identify the macronutrient. Older boli kwa loge loge. Obviously, we have to think about what that mobile and immobile, right? They have older asset, it has a mobile. So, mobile or kataman options, dibo, hey, options are without chlorosis kune cause kore, you have to identify. So, this part, the column that I have given, disease kini bhalke pohiba. Right, let's start with that only. So, physiological role and deficiency symptoms. Uh, first, yeah, say nitrogen. Hmm? 
Page number, kiman page number? I think it is 58, Nikki. Page number to Utisa Nikki, tomorrow PDF. 57, 57 down, yeah. Huh? Paisa? So, 57 or Juntu point dia asa, no? Translocation, uh, physiological role of deficiency symptoms. Ya te kisum an alphabet dia asa, so asa? E, A, C, R, F, D, right? Actually, these alphabets have no meaning, right? E gita protective alphabet e key mean kori sa to likhi e disu, no? E stands for element, D stands for deficiency, etc, etc. Moi, eneke element or nam gita ba alphabet gita ki ho ka ane disu, so that you don't have to write it again and again. Nitrogen or ako likhi bona lage, element, ako likhi bona lage, absorb in the form of. It is nitrogen to zidi dekha pua, if you see that part, no? Tatu kisuman alphabet ase. So, looking at the alphabet, you will have an idea that what does it mean. For example, D buli kole, obviously, ki hobo, deficiency symptom. F buli kole, the function of the element, right? So, it is just a short way to remember. So, alphabets ki ni iman important no hoi. Okay, coming to the first one, nitrogen. A gute gita elementor para question kiya hai first to kolu the deficiency diseases. Second, kitiya ba questions could be from the function part. Third, it could be from uh, absorbed in the form of. Nitrogen is absorbed in the form of. Nitrogen is absorbed by the plants in the form of ke nitrates, no? Nitrites by nitrates. So, absorb kene ke kore kuntu form of ase or ki disease cause kore se he kini ami halke po him. Starting with nitrogen, absorbed in the form of nitrates, nitrites, ammonia, etc. Nitrogen constitutes key, it is the most important product or nutrient required for the production of protein, enzymes, vitamins, hormones. So, many coat coat asse, proteins or asse, vitamins or asse, hormones or asse, etc. etc. Right? Where is nitrogen found? Nitrogen is found everywhere, everywhere mean almost in all parts of the plant body but more in the meristem. What is meristem? The meristematic zone of a plant is called as meristem. So, jun bilak cells are divide and re-divide kori asse, tahan taro ki hoi, he bilak jega nitrogen basi ke pai, right? Function, cell division, growth, what is the function of nitrogen inside the plant body? Cell division, growth and metabolism, photosynthesis. Function, not important, especially nitrogen or function over question aha nai. Nitrogen or question ki hai se? Absorbed in the form of hetulagibo are deficiency diseases. Deficiency first disease was on chlorosis, right? Chlorosis to already tick kora ase, I think you can see. Chlorosis first in the older leaves. So, nitrogen is an example of mobile le immobile, obviously mobile, right? Next, stunted growth. Any type of a deficiency will always cause certain type of morphological and anatomical differences inside the plant. Right, kibata deficiency is a plant alone to kibata hoboi. Right, stunted growth mani ke jima normal growth hoboi is that ke support hoi tegil. That's what is called a stunted. So, stunted growth point is not important. Head to report question aha nai. The question has never been asked. The stunted growth is caused due to a deficiency of which macronutrient. Head to kiti aho nai. Kindu chlorosis first in the older leaves is caused due to a deficiency of dash. Head to kindu question aha nai. Right. Next is premature leaf fall, not important. Fourth point is important, purple coloration in stems and petiole due to accumulation of anthocyanin that is called as mottled chlorosis. JD nitrogen or deficiency hoi, tetia hale ki hoi, the yate stem or petiole, petiole I think we understand, the stalk of a leaf that is called as a petiole, no? Taha dot ki hoi, at a pigment joma hoi, pink, I mean purple color pigment that is called as anthocyanin. Right. So, nitrogen deficiency hole purple coloration hoi. So, question ahi bo pare, purple coloration in stems is due to the deficiency of dash element. It's due to the deficiency of nitrogen. Right. So, out of the deficiency, we are going to remember two of them, number one and number four. Yeah. So, that was about nitrogen. Next is about sulfur. Sulfur or question ki hai se? Sulfur absorbed in the form or what question ahanai but constituent. Sulfur is obtained as that is important. Sulfur is obtained as amino acid or it is obtained in amino acids. Kenukadhono amino acids, methionine and cysteine. In vitamins, kenukadhono vitamin biotin and thiamine and allyl oils of garlic and onion. And that is the reason why garlic or onion katile amar ki hoi. So, kupani ulaina because of sulfur. Right? So, constituent to important, mark for you by Ikhi Newport question. Uh, where it is found, not very important. 
function chlorophyll formation to mark it. Question I have the elements responsible for chlorophyll formation. It is not necessary that only sulfur is only element that is responsible for chlorophyll formation. There may be so many elements that are responsible for chlorophyll formation. Out of that chlorophyll formation is important. First point I am making sulfur, right? Next, since sulfur, by now we know sulfur is an example of key, immobile. So, immobile hole disease cause in the younger parts, right? So, it causes chlorosis, kintu kundu part of younger part of. Agor to KSL and nitrogen also clo uh, causes chlorosis, but in the older part. That is the way you will study this part, right? Next is sulfur deficiency. This is next page of Aru as a juice content of citrus reduces roots and shoots, upward hamper kore, and yellow disease of tea. Out of all the disease that we have said, right, maximum question has been asked about number one, chlorosis in the younger part. basic question That does not mean we are not going to study next. Baki kitao ahi bo pare. Ahi se akol iti alaghe to heavy ahi se. Tomar chlorosis in the younger leaf very frequently asked question. Our tar pisot ahi se. Ebar kunbata year or juice content of citrus or pot ahi se. Yes, you can repeat Next is phosphorus. Phosphorus is obtained in the form of by absorbed in the form of H2PO4, HPO4. It is a constituent of nucleotide, nucleoproteins, ATP, ADP, etc. Uh, it is found developing fruits and it found in the developing fruits and stems. Phosphorus obviously energy transfer is a word that we remember because ATP phosphorus so energy transfer the word is important. As far as the deficiency symptoms are concerned, uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, man important no last two chlorosis and necrosis first appear in the older leaves. So I have already explained the meaning of chlorosis and necrosis. Nitrogen was responsible only for chlorosis, but phosphorus is responsible for both chlorosis and necrosis. Sulfur only responsible for chlorosis. So, what you do is chlorosis bully heading koriba, butekini poriba, jarjar namo chlorosis as a likiloba. Necrosis bully heading koriba, jarjar namo necrosis as a likiloba because these two words are the most frequently asked. Right? Okay. So, last two important that is chlorosis and necrosis and the last one vascular tissues become poorly developed whenever a plant is suffering from phosphorus deficiency. That is all about phosphorus. Next we come about potassium. Potassium is K positive. Uh, Potassium bully colleague, suppose you all have read the chapter transport in plants now, or we have already done the chapter transport in plants. Potassium bully colleague, the first word that we come to uh, or we remember is its role in opening and closing of the stomata, right? So, here kind of potassium or maximum question Question that is asked is the macro the element that plays a major role in opening and closing of stomata is potassium, right? Okay. <coughs> As far as functions are concerned, functions of potassium are important. It maintains cell turgidity, it determines osmotic potential, it helps in opening and closing of stomata, essential for photosynthesis, respiration, protein synthesis, etc. So, sulfur, sorry, potassium are functions important. So, pore functions important no hoy. Potassium are kind of functions important. Talking about the deficiency symptoms. Oh, take mark gita kora gita important. Function gute gita tikke ase swa potassium or almost gute gita tikke kora ase. Hmm. Thik thene ke deficiency ir potham gita tu iman ta important no hoy kinte you have a word called as necrosis. As I said no, you have to take out all the elements responsible for causing necrosis, all the elements responsible for causing chlorosis, separate it out. Okay. So necrosis ami all over kote kote palo sulfur. Now we are again. We know that potassium deficiency also causes necrosis. Kintu potassium deficiency hole necrosis hobo necrosis first appear in what? 
older plant parts. Sulfur deficiency kind of necrosis of book. Necrosis will appear first in the younger, right? Okay. Uh, weak stem. Okay. Uh, potassium deficiency important hole. Weak stems in cereal plants. Heteropod about question I say. Weak stem in cereal plants. Cereal plants? What is give me an example of a cereal? Rice, wheat, etc. Right? Weak stems in cereal. What will happen to the plant? The plant will droop down. Right? Jikunu at a common bota hile ba common kediman grow kora pisa the gosal bekao purizabo. Right? So that is because of deficiency, deficiency of what? Potassium. So that is important. Uh, next is bushy habitat. Okay, you can see what I said necrosis important. Mottled chlorosis, necrosis, weak stem in cereals. Aru, since we have a new uh, word, cotton rust. It's a question, I have to ask you cotton rust. Side out, PDF is a box, so synthesis of ATP will be So that is the way you will take out the points from this part. Jenike mo koi suno necrosis bolii likhi palai elements bilak likhi ba chlorosis bolii koi palai elements likhi ba thik jenike third point would be chlorophyll formation is or associated with chlorophyll formation the elements yate ki dia se ATP formation or lokot associated right okay ATP formation or lokot potassium magnesium and iron next is magnesium magnesium uh, potassium. Whenever we hear about potassium, we remember opening and closing of stomata. Talking about magnesium, you should always remember the chlorophyll structure. We have done the chlorophyll structure in the class. Chlorophyll structure that key bus to the We see a head and a tail, and the center is occupied by magnesium. If you remember the words pyrrole ring and Phytol tail, right? Chlorophyll attack is a little tetrapyrrole structure at us, like closed tetrapyrrole structure is something that is seen in case of a chlorophyll. That tetrapyrrole head or center of key is magnesium. So, magnesium also would say important function key helps in chlorophyll formation, right? Hmm. Hmm. Chlorophyll formation important, nodule formation important. Synthesis and hydrolysis of ATP. Coming to deficiency symptoms, deficiency symptoms are marginal curling. Tarpot question I say intervenal chlorosis and purple coloration. That is number point number one important. Point number uh, four underdeveloped phloem and peat. Point one and point four. Deficiency point 0.1 and point 0.4 important and as far as function is concerned chlorophyll formation and nodule formation and ATP formation tinta. Next is calcium. Calcium again so a protective element look at something that we have already read. Jenike potassium kole opening and closing of stomata, thick then magnesium kole chlorophyll or structure. Now we have calcium. If you remember we have talked about middle lamella cell cell wall right the three layers of the cell wall middle lamella are basic constituent ki hoy calcium so what is the most important function of calcium to form the middle lamella right or the cell wall so calcium uh, mostly in cell vacuoles present in the middle lamella that's a very important point it is also present in mesomatic area iman important no hoy function formation of cell wall structure very important Membrane structure, almost the same meaning. It is also responsible for the synthesis of certain types of enzymes. Tarukodiman question, ahana italike. Controls cell permeability, anything that is related with the membrane, no? Membrane, permeability, permeability is also something referred with the membrane itself. So, ibilakorogot kun associated calcium, right? Okay. Organization of the mitotic spindle. Very important. So, cell division or kune help kore, calcium may help kore. Cell wall formation or kune help kore, calcium may help kore. Yeah. 
prevents mineral and organic toxicity so toxic hobole prevent kore as far as uh, deficiencies disease or symptoms are concerned point number 3 chlorosis first in obviously young leaves because it's a immobile element next is uh, degeneration of young fruits near the blossom in tomatoes tar mane ki tomato plant adal full to fuller bisat ki hobo lagise fruit form koribo lagisil he fruit to okomani hobo he pai ki hori pori jay or maybe the flower itself falls off so that is what is called as degeneration of young fruits black heart of celery eto upor question ahise birat so certain words no black heart black rot ebla kor upor question ahe so black heart mark koriba so talking about the macronutrients this was a discussion about the macronutrients right so what is important we already mark kori dilu two words that are very important chlorosis and necrosis apart from that ki heading koriba chlorophyll formation first necrosis chlorosis chlorophyll formation cell wall uh, cell wall comma cell division calcium hobo right chlorophyll formation tene ke ami bostu kini korilo right karon iar pra porhile it will be hard to buy heart ha hmm 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 aro atp formation kon kon essential ekhini tumalke nije homework koribo laibo if you think that we'll study it from here you'll forget everything right headings kori pele ulai loba bostu kini okay next is boron boronor pra question ahe boronor disease kita to onoborte question ahi thake okay boronor coming to function again boron buli kole what is the point that you remember phloem right hmm so so first function ki diya ase so so translocation of sugar right who helps it's boron for seed pollen okay pollen tube germination or kune help kore boron right Hmm. Pollen and spore germination enzymes of phosphorylation. Oh, okay. So functions are important key number one, number two, uh, number ten, root nodulation, and number nine. 1 2 9 and 10 hegita beshi important as far as the deficiency is concerned what is the type of disease hegita mark korai ase swasun 4 5 6 7 8 gute gita upor te question aise heart rot brown heart internal cork of apple browning of cauliflower stem crack of celery e gute gita ami porhibo leibo As far as number one, two, and three is concerned, aha nae. Or out of this, maximum question has been asked about number four, number five, and number six: heart rot, brown heart, or internal cork. It is entire for both questions. So talking about boron, first key mon rakhi ba the word phloem, translocation in the phloem help kore. Second, pollen tube germination or help kore. Third is calcium uptake or help kore. Tinta point hole deficiency symptoms or kiya ba? It tinta disease, black heart, brown rot, aru internal cork. Hmm. Sorry, heart rot, brown heart, aru internal cork. When we are writing the note, it's a huge note. But please take out the points and make a short note. Right? Go take any mukhasta no kore, but noari ba kore. There is no point. Right? Even noara, it's impossible. Because when we place a note or when we write a note, obviously you have to give all the points. Because from examination point of view, what is important and how will you study? I think I have said already, no short notes bana bolle ibo. So ek ni kore loba. That will make your study easy. Okay, coming to zinc. Zinc or functions or number one. tryptophan synthesis tryptophan or talot ki likha ase precursor of oxygen we have not done this chapter plant growth and hormones right so when we will do we will be talking about oxygen and what is the raw material for the formation of oxygen it is tryptophan right ami tar details out korim so as of now we know that if you are talking about a hormone called as oxygen kunu bai to tak form koribo lagibo no kune form koribo tryptophan e form koribo hey that raw material is called as precursor 
So, precursor of auxin ki hoi? Tryptophan. So, tryptophan synthesis kori bole kunia help kori bo? Jinke. Right? Again, you have chlorophyll formation. If you see point number 3. So, chlorophyll formation heading kori jiman bo nutrients as e. Eta columnot likhi lo ba. Macronutrients and micronutrients together. Who is associated with chlorophyll formation? Right? Next, deficiency symptoms. Number one, question I said little leaf and roset in apples. Next is whip tip of maize. Number four. And number six, chira disease in rice. I like just word kita mono trakile hole. Ah, details, what is the symptom of the disease, how it could be cured, I like echo questions are hanai, right? Next we have copper. Copper cole electron transfer, you have to remember. Remember a line like this copper containing blue color carrier of cyclic ETS. Photosynthesis valke pohisa zedi. Light reaction, dark reaction kora hai my last class of. I don't know whether you have gone through the note or not. Light reaction, dark reaction kori so please go through and then see. That likha se blue color, uh, copper containing blue color carrier of ETS. Right. So if you remember that line it's well understood that it has a role in electron transfer. Light, light reaction on ki ho, electron transfer ho no? Reaction center of different different compounds ole. Right. So, kune help kore, copper help kore. Okay. So, electron transfer important. Carbohydrate uh, nitrogen ratio report to ketia bahe. Again, we have chlorophyll synthesis. Obviously, chlorophyll synthesis is important. Number one and number three important. Jinko to chlorophyll formation asse. Copper to chlorophyll formation asse. Deficiency. Deficiency number two, exudic gummy substances. Athar nisna bostu plant dalal pra ulai hi bo. And the do those uh, that have been ticked, dieback disease. Bohut question ahe. Then next we have exanthema. Reclamation disease or poto bohut ek question ahe. And chlorosis. Copper or deficiency symptoms or maximum asked question is point number 4 and 7. Dieback disease, reclamation disease. Any MCQ book ulai loba? Jot copper or questions ahi se, edu ta question ya hi bo. Word ki ta khali mono rekba liki reclamation aru dieback. Next we have chlorine. Chlorine bulikole again from photosynthesis point of view, what do you remember? Photosynthesis chapter 2 kindu clear kori po lagi bo. Remember photolysis. Photolysis of water ho bolagile, water oxidizing complex asile. Oxidizing complex or eta element ki chlorine. Right? So chlorine e kam ki kori po electron transfer. Water to zeti photolyzed hoi zai. It breaks down into electrons and protons and obviously oxygen. Oxygen goes out of the cell. What is left behind in the cell is electron and proton. Electron moves to a proper area. The proton will move to a proper area because they need to be separated. Right? So chlorine buli kwa lagalge function of swa transfer of electron from water to PS2. PS2 ki hoi? Photosystem 2. Photosystem 2 mane? PS1 and PS2, no? Okay, photosynthesis bully kole what we understand. Photosynthesis is broadly divided into light reaction, dark reaction. Light reaction responsible for the formation of okay, assimilatory products. What are the assimilatory products? ATP and NADPH2. Dark reaction responsible for formation of that carbohydrate or the food. Light reaction completes itself in two steps. Kiki? Two steps, cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation, right? Light reaction starts as soon as light falls. Someone takes in the light. Who takes in the light? The pigments take in the light. 
where will you find the pigments in the thylakoid where exactly in the thylakoid in the outer membrane of the thylakoid right if you are talking about pigments responsible for light reaction pigments will have can they arrange with a thylakoid or they are always found in a group not single right and if you are talking about group there are two groups of pigments that is or there are two groups that are formed by the pigments group ki tar naam ki asile ps1 or ps2 right so ps1 is responsible for which pathway ps1 and ps2 is responsible for which pathway ps1 is responsible for cyclic both ps1 and ps2 for non cyclic what is the product that is synthesized during cyclic what is the product that is synthesized during non cyclic light reaction se hai to ki produce hobo atp nadp h2o produce hobo tar logote ki obviously oxygen right so kun tu ketia produce hoy he bostu tu janibo lagibo cyclic ot ki produce hoy okol atp non cyclic ot ki hoy atp nadp h2o and also oxygen so if oxygen is produced during non cyclic then we understand photolysis of water is associated with which pathway non cyclic pathway our photolysis of carne one component that helps in the process is chlorine right okay chlorine or uh, deficiency bronze color in leaf chlorosis necrosis to porhime ami ब्रॉन्ज कलर इन लीव एंड क्लोरोसिस नेक्रोसिस ऊपर क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट वी हैव मैंगनीज आको मैंगनीज कहे आको वाटर ऑक्सीडाइजिंग कम्प्लेक्स अगेन सामथिंग रिलेटेड उथ फटोसिन्थासिस वाटर ऑक्सीडाइजिंग कम्प्लेक्स अक क्लोरिन थे और क्या थे मैंगनीजो थे सी एल एंड एम एन आर दू कम्पोनेट्स दैट फर्म्स द वाटर ऑक्सीडाइजिंग कम्प्लेक्स हुई इज रेसपन्सिबल फर फटोलाइस अफ वाटर सो मैंगनीज कले आको फटोलाइस वर्ड तो मन रख लगे सो क्लोरोफिल सिन्थासिस अगेन फटोलाइस अफ वाटर maintenance of chloroplast membrane structure photolytic evolution of oxygen photolysis je to koye aso to obviously photolysis o karane ki hoy oxygen e to evolve hoy disease intervenal chlorosis important gray speck of oats question ahe march spots he to upor to question ahe 1 2 and 3 नेक्स्ट इज मलिबेनम मलिबेनम मोर क्वेश्चन आंसिटेट मलिबेनम इज फाउंड इन इट इज फाउंड इन द एंजाइम नाइट्रोजेनेस रिमेम्बर वी हेव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट नाइट्रोजेन फिक्सेशन राइट नाइट्रोजेन फिक्सेशन मीन्स टेकिंग इन ऑफ द एटमोसफेरिक नाइट्रोजेन एंड मिक्सिंग इट विद दॉल who can do with directly it is only the microorganisms that can take the atmospheric nitrogen directly plants cannot take in why because a particular enzyme is absent in case of plants and which enzyme we are talking about we are talking about nitrogenase so nitrogenase ko take microorganisms or take and what is the function of nitrogenase biological class i am sorry nitrogen fixation itself but actually nitrogenase ki kore nitrogenase atmosphere or nitrogen or bond to bhangi diye नाइट्रोजेन की फर्म थे एन टू एन टुर मजबूत ट्रिपल बंड आस ना बन तो भांगिले तहते अक्सिजेन लो पे नाइट्रेट हम पार सो बन तो भांगे कल्प कर नाइट्रोजेनेसे नाउ हाउ टू नाइट्रोजेनेस ब्रेक द बन इट इज नट लाइक दैट दे उल टेक अ हेमर एंड देन दे उल ब्रेक इट डाउन तेने तो ना नाइट्रोजेनेस एनजाइम मेटेलिक कम्पोनेट थे मेटेलिक कम्पोनेट्स विले बन तो भांगे हेल्प कर एंड व्हाट आर उथ टकिंग अबाउट इज आयरन एंड मलिबेनम राइट सो नाइट्रोजेनेस कि आयरन थे मलिबेनम थे तहते कि नाइट्रोजेन फिक्सेशन हेल्प कर सो मलिबेनम इम्पर्टेन्ट पॉइंट इज द कन्स्टिटेंट इट इज फाउंड इन नाइट्रोजेनेस हेल्प इन नाइट्रेट रिडक्टेज एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा फांगशन इम्पर्टेन्ट फर नाइट्रोजेन फिक्सेशन डेफिशियसि उप टेल अफ कलिफ्लार तार ऊपर क्वेश्चन आ and obviously nitrogen fixation will get reduced if the amount of molybdenum is less in the plant
नेक्स्ट इज आयरन फाइटोफेरेटिन हिट वर्ड टू सबा वन फॉर्म ऑफ आयरन स्टोर इन द क्लोरोप्लास्ट आयरन इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट फांगशन और हिट सबा डेवलपमेंट ऑफ क्लोरोप्लास्ट क्लोरोफिल अगेन क्लोरोफिल फॉर्मेशन तो कुने हेल्प करबो आयरन है ठीक है सर जेरा कॉलम बनाबा आयरन नाम तो लिखि लोबा ताते आयरन डेफिशिएंसी इंटरवेनल क्लोरोसिस आहे ग्रीन नेटिंग ऑफ साइट्रस लाको एंड फाइनली वी हैव निकल निकल और की इंपॉर्टेंट एसेंशियल पार्ट एंड सेम नाइ नेट्रलाइज दिस एरिया नेक्रोसिस यू कैन रिमेंबर एंड द लास्ट वन नॉन वायबल सीड्स निकल डेफिशिएंसी लीड्स टू नॉन वायबल सीड्स सो एकिनी होल मैक्रो और माइक्रो न्यूट्रिएंट्स और डिटेल्स दैट यू हैव टू स्टडी out of all the notes that we have written take out the important points make headings jene ke ma koisu no already atp formation chlorophyll formation electron trans uh, transport right next is uh, sugar translocation uh, pollen germination tene ke point kini ulai lo ba he kini he porim baki ekon upor and if you won't do or if you don't write the short note पिछले ये लेसन तो एक मन में थे फाइनेलि उ हाव द लास्ट पार्ट अफ द नोट दैट इज मेकानिजिम अफ एबजर्बन अफ मिनारेल्स उ हेव बीन टकिंग अबाउट मिनारे एबजर्बन एंड उ नो द रूट्स एबजर्ब द मिनारेल्स रूट्सबाक जो एबजर्ब कर देर आर टू प्रसेस आइडार इट इज एक्टिव एबजर्बन और इट इज पेसिव एबजर्बन इफ यू टक अबाउट एक्टिव अबियलि उ नो दैट इट्स उथ द यूज अफ एक्सट्रा एनार्जी दैट इज कल इज एक्टिव एंड पेसिव एबजर्बन बै प्रसेस लाइक डिफ्यूशन right uh, uh, then uh, we have diffusion facilitated diffusion mass flow etc etc so passive mineral absorption or heading of ki likha ase so takes place by the following methods diffusion facilitated diffusion so passive absorption kene ke hoy diffusion or through if you talk about diffusion what we know more to less high concentration to less concentration if you are talking about facilitated diffusion it is also from more to less but with the help of special proteins right next is mass flow talking about mass flow minerals black plant or bitot kene ke jay mass flow together with the water right that is what is called as mass flow we have talked about translocation yes please mass flow buli kole in a bulk bahut beshi ke minerals bahut beshi ke kar logot jabo water logot e jabo right so mass flow buli kole ami translocation process to bujaisu next is according to some minerals also enter the plant body or passively enter the plant body uh, by donans equilibrium fourth point to sasan donans equilibrium diya ase right so what is understood by this so question mane donans equilibrium e ki koise je minerals bil like plant or bitot humabo it depends on what it depends on the amount of cations and the anions that is present inside the plant and the cations and the anions present in the soil right so minerals absorb what i generally ions form out hoy there are certain types of ions that are already present in the plant body there are certain types of ions that are present outside the plant body in the soil so jete ions bilak jay a flow plant dollar jete cations kom hoy tetale cations absorb korbo jete anions kom hoy tetale anions absorb korbo talking about absorption one thing that you have to remember is anions will always absorb anions cations will always absorb cations plant or bitor jodi anion ase tar deficiency hole bahir opra anion e jabo positive with positive negative with negative this is how the exchange will take place right so what did donans equilibrium say it said that जे ये एबजर्बन तो कैसे हाउ लंग उल द्लान कीप ऑन एबजर्विंग आंटिल एंड आनलेस एंड इक्विलिब्रियम इज मेन्टेन्ड द एमाउंट अफ आयस इन सैड द प्लान बडी शुड भी इक्विवेलेन्ट टू द आयस प्रेजेन्ट आउटसाइड द प्लान बडी जीटे इकुअल हम एबजर्बन तो बंध हो जा इकुअल नियल एबजर्व कर दैट इज व्हाट इज कल एज डोनेस इक्विलिब्रियम एज फार एज द क्वेश्चन दैट इज आस फ्रम दिस पार्ट इज के क्वेश्चन आए व्हाट इज डोनेस इक्विलिब्रियम क्वेश्चन तो ना 
आहिबो की दा दिस अंदर अ फॉर्मूला को रिएक्शन को व्हाटएवर रिएक्शन दा दिया से न तोलो राइट कैटायन्स इनटू एनायन्स तोलो की दिया से ओ राइट ओ डिनोट्स व्हाट आउटसाइड द प्लांट बॉडी इज इक्वल टू कैटायन्स इनटू एनायन्स इनसाइड द प्लांट बॉडी आ एटा आसे न तोलो आरो एटा साइड की आसे ओ आसे नै कैन यू सी राइट सी डिनोट्स फॉर व्हाट कैटायन्स ए डिनोट्स फॉर एनायन्स राइट सो क्वेश्चन आ हैड आ Identify the correct representation of Donan's equilibrium. So, key mono tricky bolibo outside of Jimana se inside of to Himane tricky bolibo. That's all. Next one is ionic exchange. So, somewhere of the opinion that mineral exchange takes by a process that is called as ionic exchange. And when we talk of ionic exchange, we know ions of same charge gets exchanged. Exchange between what? Exchange between the root and the soil. So as we have said, positively charged, they have positive ions in the soil, negative charge they have negative charge in the soil, right? Talking about ionic exchange, there are two type of ionic exchange that are seen in case of plants, that is carbonic acid exchange or contact exchange. Plants like minerals can alloy in the form of ions. Corpora lobo, soil opera lobo, right? So, by two methods, these ions enter the roots or enter the plant body. What are the two methods? Either they take up the ions by carbonic acid exchange method or they can take up the ions by contact method, right? Contact method out ki hoi, if you are talking about the root, the root on its surface will have certain types of fixed ions. सरफेस ऑफ ऑलरेडी किस्मान आयन्स थके हे आयन्स बिल्कुल सोइल और लोगों एक्चेंज हो जाए डायरेक्टली मीडिएटर नहीं कुनो दैट इस कॉलेज कंटैक्ट एक्चेंज एंड इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कार्बोनिक एसिड एक्चेंज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ रिएक्शन दैट फॉर्म्स बाय कार्बोनेट इन द सोइल एंड देन द एक्चेंज � this carbon dioxide has mixed with the soil water to form what? Bicarbonate. Bicarbonate to bhangi goise positive or negative charge of H positive got exchanged with K positive that was present in the soil and ultimately K positive entered inside the root. Just see whether you could follow the diagram or not. Ki diya ase? Carbonic acid exchange diya ase no? Carbonic exchange of key they say you have the root, right? Root a key kori mo, respiration, because of respiration carbon dioxide will come out. This carbon dioxide will mix up with the soil water. Ekini gute soil or reaction hoya se. Types of key form kori se rahate? H2CO3. H2CO3 bhangi koi se ki hole? H positive, sorry. H positive or CO3 negative? Right? A gute hini kot hoi aise soil on, soil on, potassium ion ho thakke, thakke na thakke. So this H positive will get exchange with K positive, ultimately ki thakki bo? K positive or CO3 negative and this one will enter here. Right? So potamode ki aise le H got exchange with K, this is what is called as exchange, positive got exchange with positive. Why is it called as carbonic acid exchange? Because they have formed bicarbonate as an intermediate product. That's all. And uh, the next method is contact exchange. Contact exchange of key hoy, echo reaction reaction hoy, directly exchange hoy zai. Right? So that was about the exchange. Next we have active mineral absorption. Passive kene ke hoy, by process like diffusion, facilitated diffusion, mass flow, donance equilibrium of or ionic exchange. By these five methods, ki hoy, passive absorption takes place. If you are talking about active absorption, we have to talk about the role of ATP. That's all. Next, at a point, absorption of elements. Absorption of elements of key diaz is possible. First phase and second phase, we have to talk about symplast and apoplast because we know whenever the elements enter the plant body, it is always through water that they will enter. 
Apart from direct contact, in majority of the cases, minerals will always enter along with water inside the soil. Sorry, inside the plant. If you are talking about water movement inside the root, we have talked about two methods that is apoplast and symplast. The water will move first to what? The intercellular spaces and the cell wall that is called as a non-living pathway and that is what is called as apoplast. After that, the water enters through the living content of the cell and that is what is called as symplast. So, water will to side as I, minerals will have to hit side as above. Right? So, the first phase is always apoplastic, second phase is symplastic. Please go through that portion and see if you have any doubts. Absorption of elements, paragraph to swa. And in that paragraph, you have a word called as flux. Flux word to jani bolaibo. The movement of ions. Duta word as a influx or efflux. Something entering inside the cell, influx. Something going out of the cell, efflux. What is flux? Movement of ions is called as flux. Right? Okay. So, last paragraph of two doubts are saying again. Jete apoplast movement hoy, it is comparatively ki this hai, rapid movement of water. And if you are talking about simplast, it is a slow movement of water. Right. A simplastic movement active ne passive, it is active. Apoplastic movement is passive. Minerals it have root or pitot humambo, pani shuri is abo, delicate minerals abo noire, pani is abo, so pani can a kejai pitor, pani duta method of jay, apoplas or simplas. Transport in plants of last class to lami curry silk me asila. Hey, do it. So pani janik is abo, minerals black you tenik is abo. Simplas or true is abo. Our apoplas or true is it a goit akibo, the movement is faster, rapid movement of both pani kumais abo. Simplast of jehe to living content no, Peter or Prakma bolayevo slow hoy zabo process to. Energy lagi bo simplast movement of jabole. Or finally, you have certain points that is given in the last page. Hmm. Necrosis. Necrosis mane developing of dead spots, dead brown spots is called as necrosis. Kisa man area dead ho pila brown hai, aata leaf ashe. Leaf to key color hobole is like green, you know, dekhi ba kete ba brown brown, ekdom brown brown brown. Mane puri is one is na ho jai, right? That's a dead spot. That's called as necrosis. Okay, there are certain points that are given in the last page. Ek any points saba? Question has been asked. Silica buli kole, you have to remember grass. Next is something called as critical elements, very important. Identify the critical elements. Question ahe. Out of the 17 elements, no? Ketaman element of critical bulikose, that is N, P, and K. Next is the two words, trace element or tracer element. Duta word as no? What is a trace element and what is a tracer element? If you talk about trace element, it is nothing but the micronutrients. If you are talking about tracer element, it is the radioactive isotopes or radioactive. Yeah. That's all. Once you start doing your MCQs, it will become easy, no? So, what you will do is go home and then make your short notes. Short notes, no, pohile, etu part or eku monon thake. Right? Na lagi hai, na lagi. So ultimately, we have completed mineral nutrition, right? Please do your assignments, and we'll go for assignment discussion class shortly. Right? If you have any doubts, you can ask me.
or else i think this is all about the chapter thank you